push buttons often generate spurious open or closed transitions when pressed due to mechanical and physical issues. These transitions may be read as multiple presses in a very short time fooling the program. This example demonstrates how to debounce an input, which means checking twice in a short period of time to make sure the push button is definitely pressed. Without debouncing, pressing the button once may cause unpredictable results. In the loop function, the status of the two push buttons on Clibo C6 Bally is read by digital read. The below if statements are used to debounce. In the left button, the status is checked as the first attempt. If the status is different from the previous states, the function millis records the current time. After a short period of time, for example, 15 milliseconds, as the bounce delay. Another if statement will confirm if the button has the same state as the previous moment. If not, indeed the button has been pressed or released. Accordingly, the LED is turned on or off. A number of not equal to operators have been used. That means if the two operands are not equal, the if condition is true. The state of the mouse LED is decided by the variable LED state. When LED state is zero, the LED is on, which makes this if condition to be true and allows the light intensity detected by Clibo C6 eyes to drive the speaker. If LED state is one, the LED is off. The speaker is also off. At the end, the status of the two push buttons are saved in the variable last bottom L state and last bottom R state, respectively, which can be used to check if the button is changed in the next loop. <laughs>